we have been through this before, so we think we are better prepared this time. You're referring around. to 1997. 1997 crisis. Currency it was crisis. called the, the Asian financial crisis. So we have done our reforms and we have done our uh, governance improvement. Uh, many new mechanisms and supervisory uh, systems have been set up. So I think uh, we think we are better off. Banks have not been too much exposed as in the West, as in Western Europe or North America. And of course within <coughs> ASEAN there's a great deal of trade just within that region. It's about 50%. In, in Asia as a whole, yeah. but among ASEAN countries, 10 of us, about 25%, we trade with each other, which is yeah. quite high. That's yes. a, that is a reasonably high. Right. So are you concerned about exports? That would be the big concern. Yes. I think the instinctive reaction would be, you know, like fire is coming, a flood is coming, you put up the firewall, you put up a dike around yourself. But eventually, all these stimulus packages are not going to work just within their own countries. Eventually, you'll have to trade with each other. And I think uh, we have to be extremely <coughs> careful of protectionism. Well, that is quite often what happens in the face of a financial crisis or a recession, that countries tend to introvert and not want to give trade outside. Do you see that risk, or, or are, you, uh, are you positive about what you hear? There is certainly that risk, but I think an enlightened way of looking at it is to look long-term, to think about, uh, you know, what are these stimulus packages inside every country, every government coming out? Eventually, you're going to need to export. You, eventually, your good economies that you protect are going to have to trade with each other. So if you put up too much protectionism, uh, you are not going to solve the problems in the long run. It's very interesting that you dismissed the fiscal packages. Is this because of your experience, as you mentioned, this was a currency crisis you had over 10 years ago now. Do exactly. you think fiscal measures simply can't work in this context? Well, it can complement, but not much. I think this time around it has to be, uh, you know, economies have to be trade, have to be export. And uh, when all the worlds are very much down, where are you going to export to? Well, what solutions would you offer then? Well, I would say, you know, talk to each other more and come together and find uh, common solutions rather than regional solutions, global solutions, rather than uh, individual solutions. It's not going to work. This time it's worldwide. You, let's <coughs> talk about the ambitions that you have for this ASEAN mm, grouping. Mm. India and China, of course, is not part of this uh, ten nations. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a little bit that both of those nations have stolen your limelight? Uh, well, we are trying to engage them. They mm. are both our dialogue partners. And uh, at the end of February, we will be signing our FTAs with both of them. Free trade agreement. Well, no, with China we have had already. With India, Australia, New Zealand. So uh, we, we know that these are emerging giant markets, and they are still uh, very, very strong. They are affected, yes, down from 9, down from 10 to 8 to 7 to 6 but percent a year, but uh, still a very big economy, and uh, they, are, they could help us.